Sometimes when you're drawing, you want to be able to refer to a second drawing. DWG References allows you to do that. Perhaps a client wants you to use their standard title block for your drawings. You can use DWG References to make sure that the title block you're using is always the most up-to-date one. On the toolbar, go to the Insert tab and then click on DWG Reference. Select the drawing you want to refer to and then click Open. The External Reference dialog block is quite similar to the one used for blocks. So you can specify the scale, insertion point, rotation and units. I'm going to keep the scale one to one, but I want to be able to specify the insertion point so that the title block is placed correctly. I click OK, and then I move the title block to fit the drawing. Notice that the DWG reference is in light gray color. That lets you distinguish between elements that are part of the drawing and those that are from another drawing. To show the power of DWG references, I'm going to open up the border drawing, change its color to yellow, and then save the drawing. I switch back to the floor plan, and here in the lower corner, you'll notice NanoCAD alerting you that the external reference file has changed. Simply click on the blue underlined text, and you'll see the new version of the drawing. So as changes are made to the external reference, they appear in your drawing. But that's not all. We now double click on this external reference and we can edit it in the block editor. And I'm going to make a single change where I change this polyline to red. I'll then save the changes. And the attached reference, as we expect, has also a red line. Let me bring back the A size border drawing to see what's happened there. It also has the change. So you can see the changes are two way. Changes made to the external drawing are reflected in your current drawing when you update it, and changes you make in your current drawing go back to the external drawing. If you don't want to see the external drawing, then click on the Manage tab, choose Drawing Explorer, and here you see a list of all the elements that are in your drawing. Open up External Reference, and then here is the border. Right click and turn off visibility. The border is temporarily gone. Right click a second time, choose visibility again, and it comes back. You can have more than one reference in a drawing. So I'm going to open up a 3D view, place it as a reference in our main drawing. So I'm going to specify the scale and the insertion point. To be able to keep track of the XREFs in your drawing, select one of them, right click, and then choose External References. Here you see a list of the external references that are attached. And if you want to see them in a different view, you can see them in a tree view. To remove an XREF, right click its name in the External References dialog box, and then choose Unload. Notice that the XREF disappears. The name is still in the list in case you want to reload it.